Good morning friends welcome to the point in today's video we will discuss about two important indexes the first one is producer price index and the second one is service price index so friends have you ever thought that why what is the need to uh, calculate or to uh, create an index or why do we need indexes in our economy so friends answer goes this way that whenever we want to measure inflation in economy it cannot be measured in terms of a single good or a service it has to be a basket of goods and services that is why uh, it is denoted by an index for an example if we want to measure inflation rate in india can it be measured in terms of change in rate of amul butter available in the market or say tata nano car so change will the change in price of tata nano car would depict the inflation level at the economy level no so in order to calculate the inflation at the economy level we need to create a basket of goods and services now what is the basket of goods and services so it is a pool uh, where uh, prices of various goods like if we put butter apple uh, rice services like telecom hospitality uh, industry so whenever we combine this uh, prices of all these goods and services and create a basket and then measure the change in price of the goods put in this basket that is how we come to a come to or calculate the inflation now what is this producer price index so so there are let's assume three stages in the supply chain first is the producer who produces the goods then sells it to the wholesaler who purchase the goods from the producer or the manufacturer in the bulk level and then this wholesaler sells it to the retailer who then sells the good to the consumer like you and i now so if you see there are three people associated in the supply chain one is the producer there is a the wholesaler and the retailer now at the wholesaler level there is a price index called wpi that is the wholesale price index at the retail level it is the consumer price index and what about this uh, at the producer level so to calculate the changes in the price of goods and services at the product producer level or the production level it is the producer price index so a producer price index or ppi is an index that measures the average price change of goods and services but from the seller's point of view so if we see cpi cpi measures the changes in the price of goods and services from consumer's point of view because this retailer sells the goods to the consumer like you and i but the ppi measures the changes in the price from the sellers or the producers point of view now it is cal it can be calculated either when the goods leave the place of production that is when the goods are dispatched from the factory to the wholesaler or when the goods enter uh, or where the, when the raw materials enter the place of production so for example if it is a sugar producing factory either the ppi will be calculated when the sugar is made and transferred to the wholesaler or when the sugar cane comes into the factory for uh, processing and to be converted into the sugar so whenever the ppi is calculated at this level when the producer sells it to the wholesaler it is uh, called as output ppi and when it is calculated at this level when the sugar cane comes into the factory to be converted into sugar it is known as input ppi ppi is an estimate of the change in the average prices that the producer receives which are not always what the consumer pays for it because when the goods passes from so many levels in the supply chain a lot many costs are added taxes are added and then uh, the final price is arrived at for an example when the producer sells it to the wholesaler so first of all it adds uh, uh, its profit to the product and then there are cost associated like the transportation cost or the packaging cost and then the taxes over here then when the wholesaler sells it to the retailer there is the profit again the transportation cost to the retailer shop and the packaging cost uh, so all and the labor cost uh, who who charges it for uh, uh, shifting the products from wholesaler to the retailer so all of this uh, these charges are accumulated and added to the cost of the product so the price what uh, is here is always different from what consumers pays at this level india uses wpi now that india uses cpi as a measure of inflation earlier it used to use uh, wpi but now it is cpi but 
uh, now we are or the talks are going whether we should consider ppi as a measure of inflation or not but as of now cpi is considered as the measure of inflation in india moving on to the next which talks about what is service price index now if you see there is wpi okay now you should be clear about the fact that wpi that is a wholesale price index does not uh, denote or indicate the changes in the price in the services because wpi just measures the change of price in the goods and the reason is that the services cannot be brought in the wholesale and be stored so wpi just denotes the change in the price of goods whereas in case of cpi uh this basket of goods and services but the services are just a chunk of the baskets so there is no uh index which shows wholly or solely changes in the price of services only or the service sector only so hence this service price index now this index shows the changes in the prices of services only and it does not show the change in the price of goods the service price index is a business cycle indicator which provides information on changes in the price of numerous service industries this information is used for the analysis of inflation and its sources but also for the deflation value in the service sector it covers services like banking insurance telecom services this the need to introduce the index arose because inflation in the service sector is not captured properly by any of the existing index like wpi which completely ignores it and cpi as i told uh, only limited amount of services are including included in the basket of goods and services so there was a need to introduce an index which solely focuses on the service sector and Uh, this index is published by CSO. One assignment for you when the video gets over is that you have to uh, Google it and find out that CSO comes under which ministry, and you have to note it down in your notes, or if you can just mug it up. But please make sure that you uh, just find out that CSO comes under which ministry. So, friends, with this, I would like to end my video for the day. Uh, we have discussed two topics: that is, producer price index, and I have told you why and where it is calculated, and why or what is the what was the need to calculate the service price index in country, and who publishes it. And don't forget to complete the assignment. Thank you so much for your patience listening.